Hey, Mike, I thought I'd go through this real quick with you. Um, hopefully this clears some things up. So we're in Xcode. I've created a new project, I'm selecting Cocoa app, I'm going to click Next. Okay, in this case, we're going to call this Mike's app. And I've got my team selected. You may not have this if you're, you might not have that. Okay, and then uh, organization name and bundle identifier here. And I'm going to, I've got com.chiltonweb.mike. Okay, real simple. I've selected Objective-C because that's one I'm more familiar with. Uh, you can use Swift, I don't care. I've got storyboards turned on, everything else is set like it normally is. And next. Okay, and I'm going to create a Git repo. So I hit create, boom, done. All right, so from here, we can hit the play button. It should build just fine. It's going to build up in a little window, it has nothing in it. Okay, that's what we get when we run this app. So I quit that app. Now, I want to show you what those, where those parts came from. In the main storyboard, we have this. This has a view controller in the window, and that view controller has its own little view down here. That's just a, it's a, it's kind of a visual thing to help you figure out where parts are. Personally, I think it's a little more confusing than it needs to be. Yeah, that's just me. Okay. So if you click over here in this view controller scene, it will, uh, first it'll slide down to this. And if you click over here on this little thing, it shows the identity inspector. You'll see that the class, this is, this is says custom class and the class is set to view controller. Now, this seems very generic, but what they're referring to is this guy right here, view controller, is the same as this view controller that they're referring to. Um, where'd it go? Click here, view controller, yeah, here. Okay, so that's where that is. Now, there's some other things. Uh, if you click on this little links thing right here, the shows connections you'll see that the view is that you know the, the view inside this goes to the view um, in the in the controller um, anyway that's that's really not very interesting but the important part here is that that's where you'd set this right here right there is where you set that view controller the custom class so if you created a different view controller you know over here you could you could very easily do that and then come over here and set this and I'll show you that real quick. We'll do, we'll do that real quick. So, file, new file. We're going to go to, uh, we're going to create a new Coco class that's a view controller. So, we're just going to hit um, next. And we want it to be a part of uh, view controller. Mike's view controller. Okay. And it says also created an XIV. Um, we don't need to in this case since we're going to kind of piggyback off the main one. So we're just going to hit next and create. Okay, so this is Mike's view controller. We can do whatever we want in here, however we want to do that. On the main storyboard, going back to here, click here. We can now select Mike's, uh, here is Mike's view controller is in there, see? All right, so now if you were to run this, it's going to look the same, but really the view controller is now Mike's view controller. All right, so I hope that helps you set all that up. Um, from there, um, good luck. Let me know if you have any questions.